hanging out 2012 Peace Fest. It's all about bringing graffiti artists together. There's actually a live battle that's going to be happening soon where the best artists, the best graffiti artists in the country are competing one-on-one -on -one against each other. But you know what? We're about to get with one graffiti artist you might have heard of. Got the man over here, David Arquette, tagging up a wall. What's up, buddy? What's happening? What are, you, what are we doing over here? You having some fun? Yeah, I'm just... Uh... They stole spray paint right there. I wasn't planning on spraying, but I had this crazy ring, so I'm going to try to do a little version of this, although I don't think I have enough time to do it in too much detail. <laughs> have you always been into spraying up and tagging walls and street art? Yeah, I got into graffiti in like uh, the early 80s. There was a movie called Wild Style that came out. One of our friends, Jesse Simon, who's actually a, uh, an artist as well, he wrote Mach 5 for my crew was KGB, but... Uh, his mom took us to see Wild Style, which was uh, a documentary sort of film made uh, in the late 70s, early 80s. And then it got to L.A. and it was way before. Like, it was all big in New York and everything, but we, we were more breakdancing and rapping and stuff like that. So when we saw uh, Wild Style, we were like, wow, it's about graffiti. It really uh, has so much to do with that. So. We all got into graffiti and it really sort of helped me uh, get more creative and uh, learn how to express myself. And, you know, I still do art to this day. It's been a big, you know, aspect of, of my life. Do you think that some of the doing the art and some of the, the spraying that you do helps you on screen with your creativity? Oh, totally. I mean, creativity is creativity. So being able to, you know, paint something or, or visualize stuff and, and just sort of exercising that side of your brain for sure. And I learn a lot from, you know, meeting people on the streets, meeting real people, and, and just kind of being uh, grounded. The, the, the click, the, the graffiti and the street art click, it seems like everyone's real tight. And like you said, you learn a lot of things from people. What have you learned from some of the guys around you? Because I know well, you run with a solid, you kind of run with an OG, an OG street art crew. Yeah, you know, we were a crew called Kids Gone Bad, and there were a few cute crews in Los Angeles originally, like, uh, CBS and K2S and STN and uh, and uh, WCA. So Risk is here. He's a, he's a friend of mine from way back then. And and uh, Corn Nemec, I knew him from way back then. It's all uh, it's all sort of you know. Just keeps you grounded when you stay in touch with those people that you've known for years. And part of this peace festival is the Chosen One. Tell me about that because that seems really sick. Chosen One is just a. Uh, sort of a reality-based kind of competition show where you get graffiti artists to sort of go up against each other and, and uh, you have a team of, of uh, different professionals in the art world, you know, graffiti professionals and actually gallery, like, critics and, and curia curators. And they all get together and they sort of, I guess, judge it. You know? but, how do you, but my question is, how do you judge art? Art is subjective, isn't it? It is not? subjective. It definitely is. But sometimes uh, you can like something better than another. Yeah. You know, and it, that, it's really, it's more of just giving people some exposure and kind of keeping them positive and, and being able to sort of express themselves this way. You know what's funny is earlier yesterday we were tweeting and you actually got in on the conversation. Uh, one of our fans who watches the show, Stephanie, yeah. asked about, I said, you know, if you, we could ask you one question, what would it be? And she wanted to know, you're working on a project and you did this Orion survival camp. <laughs> and you chimed in on the Twitter, so obviously yeah. you're, you're, you're passionate about it. What's that all about? That was cool. I was surprised that she knew that. What up, Steph? Thanks for asking the question. But uh, Orion's a film I'm about to start in Detroit. What's a post-apocalyptic, like I play a hunter who's going to kill my brother and I fall in love with this woman, have to save her from this evil man. So uh, so I went to on a survival course with a, a survival thing called Boss, which is in Utah, and it's an intense, like two days without food, eating berries and pine nuts. <laughs> Sounds you know, like hell. Yeah, hiking like, you know, 15 miles a day, so. It was pretty intense and it sort of like definitely got me in the sort of mentality of this character. Is that why you got the whole Grizzly Adams thing going? Yeah, I can't wait to, have, I can shave, but once this movie's over. All right, cool. I'm going to let you get back to tagging. Hey, Thanks thank for chatting you. with us. Jackie, hey. back to you in the studio, hanging out with David Arquette. Look at this man, a true street artist, an artist on the screen. Look at that, his ring. Hopefully it'll look like that later. Hopefully it'll look like that later.